Hey guys, it's Victoria, and this is my one month postpartum update. So I have to say that I am feeling 100%, and I felt pretty much 100% really, really quickly. Um, I know in my one week update I said how good I felt, and really it's just continued to get better from there. And I'm so grateful and so lucky to have had such a great recovery. Um, my recovery from Noah was long and hard, and I had him vaginally, but I had a lot of um, tearing and issues, so it took a long time to recover. Alexandria had a C-section, so that is a long recovery, even though it was a smooth recovery. But this time I was up and back to new pretty much right away. So at one month postpartum, I feel completely back to, back to normal. I just have some notes here. Um, as far as my emotions, um, most days I feel great. I feel like I've got this. I am rocking this mom of three thing. Um, and then of course there's days where you're more of, more of an emotional mess, especially postpartum. You've got the hormones going crazy and then you're adjusting to having a new baby and looking after the older kids. That's the hardest part really is, is balancing, you know, being tired, being probably a little bit short in the patient's department compared to how you normally would be, um, looking after the older kids and looking after the baby at the same time. It's just trying to sort that all out. Um, but I think we're doing, doing pretty good. And the emotional days are definitely fewer um, than the good days, so that's good. Um, as far as breastfeeding goes and uh, that journey. I um, talked about it a lot in Lydia's one month update, so I'll link that below and you can check that out if you want to know how that's going. We are in the process of stopping breastfeeding um, because I was having an incredible amount of pain and damage, so you can check that out. I talk about it at length, um, but that's sort of where we are there. Um, as far as my bleeding, it's mostly stopped. It's just a, it's a little bit every day. Um, some days a little bit more than others, but generally it's, it's, I wouldn't say stopped, but it's close to stopped. And I bled for a good eight weeks with my other two deliveries. Um, so at four weeks to be almost done is, is nice. I know they did a really good job of like press, you know, they press on your stomach after you have that baby, after the baby. And I thought they were trying to kill me. <laughs> they pressed so hard, but it must've worked to help get everything out. Um, my fingernails, I don't know if this is a postpartum thing, but almost immediately my nails started peeling and breaking and you know, I had pretty good nails during pregnancy and I normally do, um, so I, I assume that's probably a hormonal thing, um, but they're awful. They're like, I'm keeping them as short as possible because they're just chipping and then they start catching on everything and so that's something new. Um, I got my hair cut. It feels so good. It was so long and I hadn't had it cut since like end of July and it's February. So it was pretty dead at the end and my cousin actually colored it for me. Um, so I really like how it turned out. It's the end of the day now so it probably doesn't look as good as it did this morning. Um, one, one hard part for me is finding the time to make myself presentable every day. I I find it important to you know, get dressed, put on a little makeup, do my hair. So just trying to find the time. I really, I need to get up and just do it instead of lounging in bed with the kids every morning. But um, sometimes that's that's more important than, than getting up and looking good. But I usually, not usually, I always manage to get it done at some point. Um, and my makeup takes five minutes and my hair takes maybe five minutes or 10 minutes too. So it's not like it's a long process. Um, I've been trying to get out one-on-one -on -one with each child whenever I can. Alexandria came to the grocery store with me tonight. Um, I get to do a lot with Noah. We went to a hockey game a couple nights ago and then trying to get out with Lydia whenever I can. So that's nice. Um, you know, a big adjustment is the amount of time it takes to go anywhere. You know, getting everything loaded up, especially now that we're going to be switching to bottles. I know that's one other thing that I have to worry about. Um, so just trying to plan that all and leave time to get ready so we're not completely rushing like crazy people to get out of the house even though we end up rushing like crazy people a lot of the time. Um, I really need to work on letting the, not the housework, but some of, some of the mess, just letting it go. I get really hung up about toys being everywhere and things not being perfect and I just, I really need to let it go and not 
stress out about it so much, but it's really hard for me. So that's something that I'm, I'm working on. Um, that's basically everything I have here. Um, my weight, I'm actually doing a diet bet with Jenny from Candid Mommy and that ends in about 10 days. And as of today, this morning, I had reached the, my goal weight. It's 4% of your body weight in four weeks. So as of this morning, I'd reached it. So as long as I can stay at this point or drop more between now and the end of the diet bet, I will get my money back. So that's good. Um, I've been walking on the treadmill, getting out to walk the dog as much as I can. And two nights ago, I actually started the uh, Couch to 5K running app. I'm hoping to do a 5K on Mother's Day. Um, and I actually did a video about that, talking about my running experience in the past and where I hope to go. So I haven't got that uploaded yet, but once I do, I will try to remember to link that below. So I think that's everything for my postpartum um, update. I would show you my belly but I'm wearing gym clothes and I don't think it's the best look for me so um, my belly has gone back not to normal but I'd say it's probably 75% back um, I'm lucky that my belly shrinks up pretty quickly my issue is losing weight everywhere else that I gain when I'm pregnant because I eat whatever I want um, you know my post my my pre-pregnancy genes are not fitting, um, not close to fitting at this point, and I know it'll take a while to get there, and that's okay, but I probably should go pick up maybe a couple pairs of pants or something, because I've been wearing a lot of leggings, um, some maternity pants, and I do have one pair of jeans that fit that I bought postpartum last time, so anyway, that's sort of where we are. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll probably do another update maybe in a month. Um, I don't know if I'll do another postpartum update or not, but maybe I'll just talk about that with the baby update, but things are going really well, so thanks for watching.